Kitchen this time inspired by New Orleans cuisine mixed with South American empanadas. Yeah, I love the sound of that. Joining us now, Empanola Biloxi's manager, Joe Nippers. Manager or owner, Joe? Manager. Your manager. Yes. Okay, well, uh, we're going to get to that king cake in just a second. Absolutely. But first of all, your trademark uh, empanadas. Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, so we have 19 different ones. I brought nine today. Uh, we have vegetarian options. We have the traditional, which is the beef Argentina, the chicken Peruvian, and we have a new Chilean beef, which is also traditional. And then we have um, we have a couple of um, dessert ones. We have banana foster and apple pecan. Mm. Yeah, I see that apple pecan here. I shift it. Oh, I don't know how to shift it actually to see it better, but there we go. So um, they look great. I Thank like you. that idea. Yes. And like David said earlier, I guess you could call the ones with meat meat pies. Meat pies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, in New Orleans, <laughs> they would actually be meat pies. Absolutely. Because I love the pastry. What's kind of the secret to the pastry here with these? So they are all fresh made in New Orleans. Uh, they press them out, fill them, and then stamp them with their little stamp. So we don't get them confused. So the empanadas are, are kind of, um, they are originated in South America, but these have the yes. New Orleans flair because right. empanolas started in New Orleans, it right? It did. Um, actually, the lady that comes up with all the recipes, her and her husband, are from Argentina. So they wanted to mix a little Argentina with a little New Orleans and put it together. Yeah, two great cultures, by the way. Uh, so you have the soup here. We have uh, soup. Tell us a little bit about soup. People will find that on your menu. Yes, we have six different soups every day. I brought two. We have the crab and corn and a crawfish boil, also inspired in New Orleans. Um, we have a full salad bar with over 40 items. And we have some sauces to go along with the empanadas. And uh, we have full desserts. We have cheesecakes, uh, tiramisu, brownies, cookies. Right now, apparently, you have king cake. We do have king cake, and these are also come up with um, the lady in New Orleans. This is a guava cream cheese. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah, that does sound great. Guava. I love guava, I love guava too. There's I love guava. No so. preservatives. We're gonna have to yeah. That. Yes. That no preservatives. Good. It's a brioche bread. We bake them fresh every day. And I decorate Oh, yeah, them. I'll be sampling. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you have? Some coffee there? I what is that? do. We have a Mexican mocha, a horchata, and a matcha. Well, I know there are a couple of stores in Louisiana now where it started, and two yes. in Biloxi, right? Two the, in Biloxi. Uh, one on Pops Ferry and the one on Howard, Howard yes. downtown Biloxi. That's great. Yeah. And is it lunch, dinner, or how does that uh, work? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, we good. have a full breakfast menu, too. We have uh, on the on Howard, we have breakfast sandwiches, uh, we have French toast, two egg breakfast. Oh, yeah, fantastic. All the things. I love going to All the breakfast. things. Well, we're going to try the uh, king cake, Joe. Sure. And who knows what else we'll devour. <laughs> uh, I might try show. one of the vegetarian empanadas. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, looking Joe, forward to that. Well, Joe, good luck to you. Okay? Thank it's you so much. We encourage you to check it out.